Bild of South Africa in three, Herman of Belarus in four, Amazon perhaps the favorite of Nigeria in five, Duncan United States in six, Jones United States in seven, Burton of Jamaica in eight, and Valette of France in nay lane nine. Put cross pictures quickly, if you didn't see the London Diamond League meetings, we see Alicia Barrett, who's done incredibly well to make this final. The clock showed, uh, didn't stop when she went through the line. It came up at 12.58, that was the second place this time. And of course, uh, she, Kenny Harrison, had gone through in 12.20. Uh, ages before uh, and then it came up eventually so that uh, well it did miss that roaring screaming some moment of excitement unfortunately the Vera Herman there of Belarus certainly one of the favorites for a medal here just two athletes broke 13 seconds in the semi-finals are alongside one another here there is Toby Amusen of Nigeria second in the NCAA she's based in the United States Alexis Duncan there of the United States 1302 her best time Tia Jones, very fast indeed, 1284, hasn't been in that sort of form yet here. But if she can produce it, she too can take the title. Rochelle Burton there of Jamaica, 1321, her best time. So she's one of the slowest in this form. And then on the outside, Laura Vallette of France. The two fast losers in lanes one and two. Both have run a lifetime best to get to this stage. Alicia Barrett and Taylor Bill to South Africa. But you'd have to say the medal lanes likely to be four, five, six, and seven. Alexis Duncan was the favorite to win the World Youth title 12 months ago in Cali, Colombia. She really looked like a very strong favorite to take that title, hit hurdle three, and ended up finishing seventh. She'll be trying to eliminate any thoughts like that as she goes to the blocks here. Herman the Belarusian, you can see her on the right there with the blonde plaits. Was outstanding in qualifying yesterday. Can she trouble this woman, Amasan? Amasan around 12.83 in the United States in April. This the World Championship final. Well, there was a little bit of movement in the blocks, and it looked to me rather like Amazon there, and she's holding her palms up. And that may be a slightly guilty reaction. I don't know if this amounts to a false start, but I thought I saw some movement there from the woman in green. Very hard to tell from that slow-mo, Martin. See, there's movement, isn't there? I'm not there's sure it's a, a false start, but there's a bit of wobbling, isn't there? There's it? a bit of rocking, but the problem is if she applied pressure to the blocks during that wobbling prior to the gun, that counts as a full start and she will be gone. Having said that, the first one to break from the blocks, I think, was Duncan. Well, it is a green card. Oh. That's what I would call lenient, I think. And the right decision, however, with youngsters. So one faulty start ahead of this women's 100 meter hurdles. You can see there the official just going to have a word with Toby Amason, the event favorite, the Nigerian. So if there is any blame, it appears to have been apportioned at her, although it carries no sanction. Let's go through the lineup again from the far side. Barrett, Great Britain, Bill, South Africa, Herman, Belarus, Amason of Nigeria, Duncan, United States, Jones, United States, Burton, Jamaica, Valette of France. The officials just checking that those fingers are behind the line. Well, no problem with the start this time, and the athlete who flies out of the blocks is Duncan, and Duncan is leading at the moment, and look, also coming across there is Herman, and coming through the middle is Amasan. Look, it's almost a blanket finish. Well, who got there first? Herman on the far side, for my eye, but I reckon the three medalists could all be within one one hundredth of a second. It is so close to see who gets gold here. Herman broke 13 seconds yesterday. Is today's run 
worth gold. You can see the camera there focusing on Alicia Barrett, the British athlete. We well, certainly will need to see this, and the Belarusian is reacting. She's got it. There was no doubt whatsoever in my mind she got it, Marston. I thought there was a bit of daylight between Herman and the rest in sprint hurdles terms. She was clearly the winner for my eye, unless I was uh, get, getting it from a strange angle. Look at that championship record, too. Well, it's a massive lifetime best. 12.85 erases the mark of Kendall Williams of the United States from two years ago. And at this stage, the Belarusian is down by more than a metre. Got away slowly. Amasan, the Nigerian, never really got into a running. At this stage, it's Duncan, the youngster. She's got half a metre now, but look at the Belarusian coming through there. In lane four, and at this stage, she's apparently ahead. Look at Jones. And also, Burton of Jamaica, it's so close. But it is Herman over on the far side. Technically, she is virtually without floor. Look at this, the balance in her hurdling. Great mobility in the hips. The head, absolutely steady. No windmills from the arms, they're basically sprinter's arms. Well, you could argue it was on the cards, Martin. She was the quickest in the semi-finals with 12.97 to win the third semi. And uh, she was, she just kept coming. She didn't lead. Certainly Duncan led for the first seven or eight flights, but Herman was always there or thereabouts. She came through really strongly, dipped beautifully at the line. Very powerfully built his little uh, uh, Alexis Duncan of the USA. And she was quick out of the blocks. But third to left, as you see, this reverse shot, which I do love. You don't get this very often. She's very, very good hurdler. That lead leg getting down really quickly over the barrier. Brilliant dip for the line. And the winning margin there for uh, Duncan, for uh, Herman, rather. Won't have been very big, that's for sure. Now, compare the lead leg there of uh, Duncan with that of Herman. Contrary to uh, many people's thoughts, you don't go up with a straight leg in hurdles, you go up with a bent knee, and that's perfect from Herman. Duncan's a little bit too straight, if you like, and may have played a part in why she clonked one of those barriers, but Belarus have the gold medal, 12.85, and yes, four one-hundredths of a second covering the first three hour athletes. Alicia Barrett, a third lifetime best in three races for sixth place.